Alicia Chang for EduQuest here at the Launch Education and Kids Conference at Microsoft Silicon Valley Conference Center. And I'm pleased to introduce you guys to Jane Wu of Penopal that just came out of stealth mode today. And their first app is on the App Store and it's free, so download it right now. Jane, can you tell us a little bit about Penopal and how it started? Sure, absolutely. So Penopal, we build games to teach kids Mandarin. And it's been a lot of fun for us so far, trying to figure out the best way to find that balance between learning and play, and really being able to make a language like Mandarin seem bite-sized and appropriate for kids to learn. So um, the origin of the company is actually a great question. Um, my co-founder and myself, we've actually been in Chinese school for a number <laughs> of years, and we were goofing off, and so we were talking about how when we were kids, that's kind of what happened. Um, and then we just started to get a lot of requests from parents, from people we knew that were saying, yeah, if you could build something that actually gets my kid to learn Chinese, I'd love it. So it was this problem that we experienced ourselves, and that's kind of something that we set out to solve. So before we move on, let's talk about the name Penyo Pal. So sure. this is a fun story. So can you tell us about what's Penyo and what does that mean? <laughs> Absolutely. So I'm glad you figured it out and brought it up, actually. Uh, Penyo is phonetic for Pongyo, which in Mandarin actually means friend. So um, we originally had it set out in the pinyin, where it's P-E-N-G-Y-O-U, but uh, it just made more sense to make it phonetic. So mm -hmm. it's a little bit of fun that way. Yeah, pinyin is notoriously hard to learn. Like It's yeah. like a blessing and a curse. For native English speakers, you can kind of sound out the characters, but then it's it's hard to kind of really pronounce that in a native like manner. So what's cool about Penyopal is that you actually can talk to the app and kind of get feedback about how you're pronouncing your characters. So on stage it was really cool. Do you want to tell our readers about how we had Alejandro demo the product and how that worked out? <laughs> sure, yeah. Um, so at Penny Opal, we're all about building confidence for people to actually start speaking Mandarin. Mm -hmm. um, it's one thing to learn it, it's quite another to actually have the guts to be able to try it's it. It's definitely not flashcards. No. Like, <laughs> no. Yeah. yeah, so we're excited to throw people into conversation settings where, for example, today you saw uh, you were able to learn how to order food from a waiter. And we got you speaking to your iPad, and the iPad was able to figure out what you were saying and then move the conversation forward. So we're really excited to explore games that immerse you in learning and speaking. So what else are you working on right now? Um, do you have other apps coming out, like other technology or...? <laughs> yeah, great question. Um, well, first of all, it was really exciting to come out of stealth finally. Um, <laughs> we're, we've been eager to be tweeting about it for a while now. And so it's actually in the app store. It's our very first game. So we're eager to get feedback on it as much as possible. But we do have a couple other games that are already mm -hmm. ready to go in the pipeline. We've just been trying to find the right moment to kind of get mm -hmm. them out in the app store. So you can be sure to see lots of different um, games and apps coming from Penupal very shortly. Mm -hmm. so I'll be on Mandarin for the for the next little while. So this is one of the first apps I've seen where it's, I guess, single player, but actually provides you a conversation almost. Where So yes. basically, we'll talk about the mechanism. You speak like a phrase into yep. the phone, and it plays it back to you, right? Yep. So, and then does how does it give you feedback about, especially in a language like Mandarin, where it's tonal, and then there's different stresses on different syllables. So can you talk a little bit about the technology? Sure, that's a great question. So right now, the tech that we've developed is very focused on just giving you confidence to speak. So we're quite generous. So um, sometimes if your pronunciation is a little bit off, we'll still accept it and continue going. Um, and then the idea is as you progress through levels and have more conversations with your pen your pal, you're actually going to be able to be, uh, we'll, we'll be able to correct you a little bit on certain tones and certain pronunciations. So you'll see that coming soon. And I think, um, so one of the judges was really commenting on you could get an email sent about your progress in yeah. the app. Can you talk about, I guess, the different levels and what kind of dashboard or analytics you do? Absolutely. So from the kids' standpoint, they're able to see all the badges they've earned and all mm -hmm. the games. And mm -hmm. we found that that's been really rewarding for a lot of kids. Um, but on the parents' standpoint, we know you want to be involved in the education process as well. So parents are actually able to have quite a few functions. They're able to set how long the kid gets to play the game. They're oh, okay. able to see um, how many words the kid has been learning, which games they like the mm -hmm. most, and then most importantly, what words they might need some more extra and more help with, mm -hmm. and then the parent can choose how frequently they want to receive these updates. So if you're a parent that's really busy, that doesn't really want us to fill in your inbox, you can check it on your own time, or if you're someone who just wants that daily update, we can do that as well. So I think this market is a really interesting place because it's not just people who, like in your demo, have Mandarin-speaking parents or grandparents. Yeah. A lot of people are learning Mandarin now because they think it's important in a global economy and yeah. also 
just because it's interesting and probably a good challenge for people. Like, what what is your experience been with testing? Have you tested it on, I guess, also bilingual speakers as well as just straight up native English speakers or speakers of other languages? Yes, we have, we have, and it's actually quite exciting when you think about it because there's actually 40 million people learning Chinese as a second wow, language in the in the world. world. Yeah, and that number is actually projected to grow to 100 million in the mm -hmm. next four years. So it's kind of crazy, like the number of schools that now have Mandarin programs, Mandarin immersion, like it's growing every single day, which is really exciting for us. We've done testing with both, so both parents. Um, that might actually give children the opportunity to practice Mandarin at home, and also parents that absolutely don't have any background. Mm -hmm. um, and when if you're starting with the beginner level, it doesn't make quite a difference. Obviously, if you've got the encouragement of a parent, <laughs> you might be able to progress through levels a little bit more quickly, but it, the way you interact, the way you mm -hmm. learn and play pet and pal doesn't change. Cool. Yeah. So this is a personal interest to me. As I was telling you, I study bilingualism, specifically Mandarin and English. Yeah. And, um, so it would be really cool to see, like, maybe if you used it in a real study with kids, because, you know, as a researcher, and there's a lot of great stuff you could look up that supports, like, the creation of this app, because bilingualism actually benefits you cognitively in other domains, yeah. and is super helpful in things you wouldn't have think, thought about, and I think that that's only going to grow as we're more of like a global society and people are speaking different languages and of lots of different cultures. So in addition to the cultural benefit of knowing your, let's say, mother tongue or your parents' mother yeah. tongue, there's also a lot of social and cognitive benefits as well. So it was great talking to you, Jay. Yeah, thank you so much. Um, and it was a great presentation. Everyone check out Penyopal. Um, what's the name of the app exactly? Food, Food Frenzy. Penyopal Food Frenzy is free on the App Store right now for iOS, and you are at Penyopal on Twitter and Penyopal.com. That's it. Okay. Awesome. So we can't wait to see what Penyopal has in the future. Thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>